Welcome to AppStyleRess. Currying is an advanced technique used in functional programming to transform a function. It is useful for creating reusable and composable functions and it can help make code more modular and easy to reason about. Currying is used not only in JavaScript but in other languages as well. In this video we will look into that but before that give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay, let's take an example. In this example, the multiply function takes in a single parameter x and it returns a new function that takes in a single parameter y that also returns another function that takes in a single parameter z or z. This is the essence of currying, breaking down a function that takes multiple arguments into a series of functions that each take a single argument. By calling the multiply function with the value 5, we get back a new function that multiplies any value passed as y and z by 5. We can then chain calls to this function by passing in values for y and z one at a time, like this, which multiplies 5, 5, 5 and returns the result of 125. Here multiply is a higher order function that returns a function that takes in a parameter and returns another function that takes in another parameter which in turn returns a product of all three parameters. If you have worked with React.js and higher order components, you may have used this pattern already. In the context of React and higher order components or a hawk, currying can be used to create a reusable higher order components that can be applied to multiple components to enhance the functionality of existing components. Currying is also used in conjunction with Redux to create reusable functions for handling state updates. In Redux, action creators are functions that return an action object that describes an event in the application. Currying can be used to create action creator functions that can be reused with different arguments to update different parts of the state. For example, have a look at this React.js code. This is an action creator function that takes in a parameter. This is curried function that returns an action creator function. Here we have a curried function map dispatch to props. that takes in a dispatch argument and returns an object of action creator functions that are bound to the dispatch method. The increment counter function is a regular action creator function that takes an argument and returns an action object with a type and amount property. By creating the map dispatch to props function and creating reusable action creator functions, we can easily add new actions to our Redux store and reuse the same action creators in multiple components. And this is currying is all about in JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.